Hi guys, Chris again. And on this video, I wanna look at something that is potentially useful, potentially doesn't live up to its marketing, and that I have been able to find virtually zero useful information about, so I have had to figure it all out for myself. So this is a SATA uh, Dual Bay NVMe RAID. This is specifically RAID. Oh, there's a lot of these dual NVMe enclosures out there that do not have hardware RAID. This is one of two or three models out there that actually have hardware RAID. So first of all, the hardware RAID does work. There is two fours in here and it always reads as an eight. Um, that works great. The problem with these, and the reason why I wanted to go over these, is that these, generally speaking, because this is supposed to be a USB 3.2, my experience with these devices, all of the ones that I've used, and I have used three of them now, um, they do not deliver the kind of performance that you would expect. This one struggles in most cases to deliver 200 megabytes a second. In reality, this thing, even with low performance SSDs, this thing based on specs should be able to hit at least five to 800 megabytes a second. I saw one computer, my workstation laptop, plugged into a Thunderbolt port, which these this is not Thunderbolt. It is not advertised as Thunderbolt. It should not, it shouldn't be Thunderbolt. This should, whenever I plug this into a USB 3.2 port that's actually labeled as a 3.2, it performs like dog shit, okay? I do not normally swear. This is so bad. This is the only time I can get, actually, I'll see two to 300 megabytes uh, a second of, um, of transfer rate if I plug it into a standard USB 3.0 port. It never delivers stated, even, even a fraction, a quarter, a fraction of stated capability when I have it plugged into a 3.2 port. When I plug this into a 3.2 port, most of the times I have done it, we're talking USB 2.0 speeds. We're talking in the low single digit transfer rates sustained. Not, it goes up, it goes down, it goes sustained like 25 megabytes a second, okay? It's really, really bad. So I have, I have wrestled with it and I have gotten it to the point where it's functional for my basic standard needs, but I do not recommend these. I don't know if it's a generational thing, if they will get better or what. They're not gonna work how you think. This one is a new Q or I think it may be Maywa. There's a few different brands. There's no, there's none of these that are really big name brand. So anyway, I would generally stay away. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.